Hello friends! Coming at you tonight in a bit of an off mood, so I wanted to film something that would put me in a better mood. With that in mind, I decided tonight's a good night to get a tour of the workshop. There's going to be a lot of projects in the months to come that will be taking place there, so it's best that you get familiarized with the settings ASAP. It all begins right here when you walk down the stairs. Turn to the left, and all this space is my workroom. You find a corner and pan around, and we can go to some things in specific. This room has been two and a half years in the making, and all started off with this desk that I made, and then I refurbished this from a piece of junk in the other room, and I had a spare wood, and I made that over there, and then I put up my board and got some extra tools, and I made my uh, clamp roller thing, and well, so let's take you for a walk. So um, here is my table saw. It's a rigid hybrid saw, and it's 250 pounds of excellent. Over here, um, this was a cabinet that was left by the last owners. I don't know how old it is. It's, it's really a piece of junk, um, but I gutted the insides and put on some old handles, and now it's my uh, scrap wood storage. Um, this right here was the workbench, the old owner's workbench, which I put a new top on and I put a whole bunch of screws in and I straightened it out and leveled it and now it's sturdy as a rock, but um, I do three surfaces. This is my dirty surface, this surface holds tools, and this is my finishing surface. So I try to keep them separate um, and even when I'm finishing finishing things with some stain or varnish, I'll put them down there, drape a cloth around it, and then I can make more sawdust in the air and it won't set in my projects. Um, saw this on Pinterest, somebody once upon a time uh, drilled down a square into it, I use it all the time. And this is uh, sort of bulk storage at this point. Um, underneath here, got some carts, shop vac, spare wood or scraps, uh, sawdust down there. And here's where I keep all of my most commonly used tools accessible. Um, I decided not to go with a French cleat system on everything. Some things are French cleated. Otherwise, it's just a lot of um, custom fittings for things. Just where I thought they'd look cool. I took a lot of inspiration from people like um, Matthias Vandel. Not sure how to pronounce his last name. Steve Ramsey, of course. They've all had their own takes on um, how to hang things up. But there are a few French cleats, like this, for example. Good, I can take my drill bits with me wherever I need to go and then put them right back down. Um, in this corner, <laughs> the best spot I could fit my chop saw, and from the blade to the wall is four feet. I usually only deal with eight feet um, lumber, so that works out just fine. <laughs> my window to the outside, I don't know if you can see this, but once upon a time, that was a jelly penguin, and it has just melted. The poor thing. I love penguins, so they're everywhere in the house. And then this is my finishing bench. This is the first workbench that I ever made. This is from a uh, Home Handyman magazine. I think I got the pattern. Got a couple Christmas projects on there right now. In the corner is my Lazy Susan. This was a fun project. I, I got inspiration for this on Pinterest. The storage has some big things underneath there. Planer, old miter, pull up my stool, and then spins around, around and around and around. So I just kept four of my um, bigger accessible tools up instead of having to pull them up and down. And it's really nice to be able to swivel. Over here is storage. Um, a little band saw that used to be my grandpa's. I don't get much use out of it, but from time to time I do. I can't figure out a way to get that belt tightened. I don't know if I just got a defunctive plastic model or what. And then, last but not least, this is my clamp storage. This was another Pinterest inspiration. So whenever I need my clamps, I just come over and get them, glue to, and it just goes with me wherever I need it to go. And that, Ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell, is my workroom. So you'll see a lot of projects down here, and now you know what you're looking at. And there you have it. That's my workroom. I spent two and a half years refining it, moving things around, building, adding to the lot of tools, and it's finally at a place where I absolutely love it. Well, we have at least one more project down in the workroom this month. 
Um, I've got some silhouettes to cut out, but that's a simple jigsaw project. And then I'm going to be doing Steve Ramsey's Maker's Care project and building a wooden toy plane. Uh, and of course posting a picture so that he can raise money for a very good cause. Every day we're getting more things up on the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest page. So be sure to check out the Midwest Man Mountain there. And of course, be sure to subscribe below. Well, it's been a long week for me, and if it has been for you, then enjoy a well-deserved weekend. Until next time, live long and prosper.